There's no earthly way of knowing which direction we are going. There's no knowing where we're rowing or which way the river's flowing. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a-blowing? Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. The fires of hell are glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? What the hell is going on with this box? Because I've received September's box and it is now August 17th. Um, so if you watched my last one, I got the um, Cardcaptor Sakura themed one before August. A few days before August, so you know, that was a bit early. This is midway through August and I have September's box. What is going on with Japan Crate? Are they just very, very pleased to see me? Um, so anyway, as you can probably tell from the title, this is the September, I assume, version of Oyatsu Box. This is the premium edition. As you can see here, there are three editions. There's like the small one, the medium one, and the large one. And this is the large one. As you can see on the side, they do indeed have a social media presence uh, on all of those what is... what's the circle one? Okay, let me know in the comments what the hell that is, because I do not know. And round the back, as usual, we have the four steps to happiness. No, we do not! We have an octopus eating sweets, and we have... sweets. Okay. And on the other side is the website, which I'll leave a link in the comment section below if you do want to get one of these yourself. They're quite good. I've uh, had two months of them now and I've really enjoyed them. And also underneath, I will block out my address, uh, there's other things and I believe we love you. Which is very lovely. I, I love you too, Japan Crate. But you're not here to look at the box, you're here to look at what's in the box. So, without further ado, let's magically jump to it, being that did indeed need a jump cut, because that took me a minute. And inside we have lots of goodies, but I can't show you that, because that would make this video a little bit boring. So, as usual, we are going to go through it together and discover this thing together. This is indeed the Sept 2018 uh, Japan Crate. We have the lovely Japan Crate Chan and her husband. Okay, they got married. I don't know what happened there. And indeed, we have the thing here. Some other stuff, but again, I don't want to focus too much on those because that will give the video away. So, without further ado, let's delve in, grab something, and try and work out what the hell it is. That looks like it says Ramune from here, because it does indeed say Ramune, and it has a Ramune bottle. Um, that says something, but... Ooh, okay, these feel like pastel -y things. Uh, very nice design, actually. I think I've had something like this before. Let's check out what the hell this is. So... Um, this is Ramune candy, pretty straight to the point. Remember the classics of this Ramune flavoured hard candy. It's basically kind of a lemonade-esque drink if you've never had Ramune. It's, it's sort of a... Um, it comes in a glass bottle basically with a marble inside which I really like. I've, I've drank Ramune... For, uh, f I've collected Ramune, rather, um, bottles for a while now. They're, you know, they're, they're pretty basic and stuff and I think they were actually quite big in the UK as well, not... Ramune themselves, but bottles with marbles in. So you know, you've probably seen them around the place. Uh, unlike this pink panda thing... Ho Hochi. Hochi? Does that say Hochi? I think it does. Um, ooh, these feel like squishy things. Are they strawberry? Are they cream? Are they strawberry cream? Let's... oh, actually, they're probably quite squishy things, by the judging by that image there. Oh, no, I, I sorry. They're individually packed, I think. Okay, let's check out what this Hochi thing is. I need to brush up on my katakana, because that said Mochi, not Hochi. So, uh, well done me there. This is Mochi Mochi Panda Anin Tofu. Sorry about that, I had a uh, brief read. So, Mochi Mochi Panda is apparently known for his squishy, scratchy cheeks. They're like tofu. So these are Anin tofu flavoured sweets. I'll I'll be honest, tofu flavoured sweets. That sounds like a very very specific thing, but Anin may be something sweet. These can be consumed on their own or on top of like a celebratory pastry or something apparently, so that's something. What the heck is that? 
So I believe this is Chocoball um, from my Mastery of Katakana, and definitely not because it's literally written below. That is a Pelican in a Kimono, I think. And indeed, these are the eponymous Chocoballs. Um, ooh, ooh, now that's some interesting artwork of a penguin. Let's check out what the hell these are. Okay, so these are Chocoball Patchy Patchy. Apparently each one has kind of like popping candy inside. And apparently the box glows in the dark. I'm going to have to test that, so uh, I'll be right back. Um, alright, actually on second thoughts, I don't think it's dark enough for it to activate and it hasn't seen enough light yet, so maybe it glows in the dark. But if it does, maybe I'll throw in a photo or something. Don't hold your breath though. I imagine this probably glows in the dark in a very weird, specific way. Or maybe it doesn't at all. Uh, who knows? All right, next up is... Ooh, this feels very, very soft. That is all in kanji, but there's seven of them, which is nice. Oh, yo! Like dinosaur things? Gummy dinosaurs? Um, is there a mystery dinosaur? Are these like, um... You know, like blind bags and stuff? Are these... Not even... That is an interesting... Wait, hang on. That looks familiar. Or does it? Okay, let's see what the hell these are. So, there are six types, apparently. However, there is the mysterious seventh type. So you've got a Triceratops, uh, a Brachiosaurus, I suppose, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, oh, okay, we've got a um, Diplodocus and a Pterodactyl. And a Triceratops. Oh, wait, no, a Triceratops. So is that a, like... Ah, uh, Al Allosaurus, you know, one of those really big ones. I'm not sure. That is very gummy, though. Uh, I may actually open this at the end, because I have had a request on my last video to, you know, open some of these. And I completely understand this feels like Pocky of some kind. Okay, so that translates to Karipori, I think. Ka ka o kasa no. Kari Karipori. So... These look like Pocky, but... Oh, ooh. Ooh, is this cola and grape flavour or something? Uh, that is interesting. So that's Cora and Grepo. Oh, okay. Grepo. Grepo soda. Well, I'm going to go on a limb and say this is cola and grape flavoured soda flavoured Caripori. So I slightly uh, read that wrong then. That is Caribori, not Caripori. Uh, and apparently they are flavoured after cola and grape, but they are, like, they're wafers. They're crispy wafer things, so I'm not completely sold on that, to be honest, because when you think of this, you think of, like, gummy, chewy kind of things. But those are, these are pocky, basically. These are sort of weird flavoured pocky. What the hell is going on there? Can you tell the difference? I can't, and I'm not going to spend the time looking. Because I want to see what's next. Let's grab... This is Haichu. Um, no. Yes. Yes, it is, actually. That's... Oh, hoo -hoo. This is Haichu. And, um... So, if you've seen the last two videos I made, I am very, very much into watermelon. I adore the stuff. Uh, it is the best fruit, hands down. And this is indeed watermelon haichu. Now, haichu, for those of you who don't know, is a kind of um, chewing gum that comes in individual little silver packets, and they are really, really nice. So I'm just going to double check I have everything correct here. And so, this is the uh, bonus item of the crate for the uh, premium side. This is indeed watermelon haichu. It's a special edition, apparently. And uh, it even looks a bit like... It's got a green... Oh, wow, okay. I may have to pop one out, actually, and uh, try one. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So it's green on the outside and red on the inside. I'm, I'm going to test that. All right, so I've, uh, I've opened it up. And let's experience this together. So, uh, it is indeed sort... Oh, okay, I see. So it's sort of green on the outside. It's not really green. I'll be honest, it's beige, kind of like a little little bit yellowy, but it is indeed red there. So I'm going to take a bite, and I'll see if it does turn really red. Okay, so it doesn't turn red, but dear God, the taste of watermelon is instant. 
like I, I bit down to separate this and already my mouth is filled with watermelon juice. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat the other part. Okay, so if you like watermelon, stop what you're doing and order one of these. Um, okay, this, <laughs> this is a game changer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to space these out because I'm going to go through the entire pack in like 10 minutes otherwise. Actually, not, not that long. These are chewing gums. Uh, just to keep in mind, you can't swallow them. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't go through the entire pack or else your mouth will be filled with watermelon for hours. But, my God, the, oh, the taste. It tastes so much like watermelon. I'm genuinely impressed with that. Like, the last three things, um, last three boxes have come with a watermelon thing in each. And all of them have been on point. The watermelon cookies I got from the first thing, actually, were so popular in my work... Where I got two other people to order them all the way from Japan. So, just saying, the Japanese know how to do watermelon. Let's grab this big bag here. Ooh. Okay then. Uh, ma something. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't know what that's meant to be. Potato. Oki. Uh, oki? Oh, ode. Ode. Um, right, I'm not gonna lie, oh, that says me, no, you, sorry, yuzu, yuzu, um, yeah, th there's such a mix of, like, kanji and hiragana and katakana, um, are the, are these not potato chips, potato, potato, it says potato, ode, ode is, or, or, no, orange is orangey, is that, Lemon? What is going on here? What? Are these citrus flavoured crisps? Ah, uh, okay. Let's check what this is. Alright, so these are yuzu lemon salt potato chips. And um, also something I forgot to mention. This crate seems to be um, a celebration. Like, there's an anniversary of Japan crate. Like, I don't know how many years. Uh, I'll find out at the end. But... This is apparently the winner of a contest in Japan to see what potato chip flavour people in Japan wanted to try. And apparently they didn't want us to miss out. So it's lemon salt. And apparently these are particularly crispy because they're fried in a particular process. That is going to be an interesting one. I'll be honest. Like, the thing is, I'm not huge on the whole, like, sweet savoury thing. But this... I feel would be slightly different enough that it wouldn't be like overwhelming. I'll push everything back a little bit just so I can keep things in frame and we can get on to this thing. Chewingu Sutro Straw. Ah, Chewing Straw? Chewing Straw? I think I'm reading that correct. I mean, they. Oh, we can actually see them actually. They look like straws, and I suppose you chew them? The chewing straw candies, I suppose. Um, grape flavour, maybe? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to guess. Let's check it out. These are chewing strong grape. Uh, test your strength and stretch and chew these grape straw-like strips. Now, the, it's not... Well, because... I'm confused, because that's suit... Sutoro, Sutoro. There's no strong. This strong doesn't. Well, wow. okay. I'm, I'm either. I'm completely missing something here. But that is not ngu or anything or goo or ngu. That's just straw. That. Okay. Anyway, I'm sure they know Japanese a little bit better than I do. Um. Ooh. Oh, I. Don't know if this is broken in transit, but it feels like there's a lollipop that's kind of turned into dust or something. Tsia beto, tsia beto, no, tsia heto beko. Yeah, okay, I've definitely not translated that. It's a, it, it's a angry bottle. No, is he angry? Is he a bottle? Is he a bag of some kind? Is he a bottle of water, the spring water? Or is he a bag of water? Or Oh, we've got a 
Got a lovely little um, comic of him doing whatever it is he's... So he's a bottle... Ah, right, so I think this is like a dipping lolly or something. Let's check it out. This is Sherbet Pello Cider. Um, cider, as I've pointed out before, is not the alcoholic beverage. It is over in the UK. It is actually just apple flavour, like, sweet stuff. Uh, so this is a, like, Ramune dip uh, thing. It's like a candy lolly you dip into the powder. Tastes of cider, or apples, I suppose. Uh, right, let's delve into the next item. Ooh, yo, we've got like two little cookie things. Okay, uh, so I've just noticed there's actually English. This is Gatto Premium Chocolate. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing this is going to be like really high quality chocolate cookie things. Or is this choc? No, this does taste. This feels like a cookie. Let's check. All right, this is Gatto Premium Chocolate Cookies. So, this is some um, rich chocolate flavor packed with delicious chocolate chips. Pair this with your favorite tea or coffee, or just eat it on its own, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's really nice, really high quality chocolate biscuits there. Ooh, this feels like popping candy. Really like the design. I don't know what the heck is going on there. Papa Paniku. Papa Pi Paniku? Oh, Papa Panic! Oh, okay, <laughs> that's a that's a really cool name actually. Papa Panic. Um, what what is that meant to be? Is that like a bottle of hot sauce or something? Giving you a thumbs up? Let's check. All right, so this is Cracking Panic Cola. Um, from what I can tell, it's kind of a popping candy that tastes of cola. Basically, um, that is also one I'm going to try at the end of this video as I think it's resealable and popping candies nice and all but it's not It's not really something I kind of hold back as a treat, you know. Ooh, this is uh, interesting Miru middle uh, miracle Co Co Kohi wait miracle coffee Mi Oh Miruku Oh Okay, right, so it's not miracle, it's milk coffee taste. Okay, these feel like, um, so I'm going to say Rice Krispies. Now, I don't know if they sell those in America, or I, <laughs> I don't even know if they sell them over here anymore, but they're kind of like little puff, puffs of corn or whatever. Uh, so let's check that out. This is Moogie Pond Milk Coffee. Why not enjoy coffee and cereal together? Ah! Wheat puffs are flavoured, the milk coffee coating tastes good plain, or with some milk. That actually sounds really cool, actually. I'd, I'd totally be game for trying this in like a bowl of milk or something. That's, uh... Yeah, I don't think I've ever had Japanese cereal before. So that's definitely something new. Ooh, uh... Ah, it's a Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore marshmallow. Oh, wait, is this, um... Oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like... Marshmallowy things, but they've got like a uh, you know strawberry center or something. Um, well, this is very kawaii. <laughs> Let's check out what this is then. This is Winnie the Pooh marshmallow. So they're just little marshmallows with uh, some light strawberry cream. Well, that's very nice. Oh, that one's got piglet on it. Although my favourite was always the owl. I think um, it's been years since I've watched any Winnie the Pooh things. I'll be honest. Ooh. Okay, U Uchi Uchi Gi Uchi Gi uh, Man 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 Mambo Uchi Gi Mambo um, Okay, I think these are going to be like chalky straw kind of things. Let's have a check. Okay, Usagi Mambo is what I meant. It's a Dagashi Shop Classic. Blends hard candy with a refreshing taste of Ramune. All oh, right. Oh, this is a very Ramune-themed uh, episode, to be honest, although I never have too much Ramune, honestly. It's uh, it's a delightful thing. Ooh, ooh, wow, this feels like a, uh, a pack of something. That is um, Tokonatsu Sable. Okay, so uh, a, lot, a lot of things going on here. That sounds like a... Um, 
That's, that sounds slightly Mexican. That looks, I, I know it's not the same, but like the colouring and stuff looks a bit like the Evangelion logo. And what is going on there? So it is pineapple, pineapple biscuit themed stuff, I suppose. Uh, ooh, we've got some shiny bits at the end. And coconut. Um, well, well, this is this feels like a proper premium pack of whatever this is. Let's have a look. So this is Tokonatsu Sable. Uh, typically, the cookie, uh, the like biscuity things that it comes in, usually tastes of coconut. This is a blend of coconut and pineapple. I, I'm I'm going to be honest. That sounds fantastic. I am I am definitely keen for that. That's. Uh, the combo of two things I very much like. Is this a DIY kit? It looks like it. So you're going to put jelly and little bits in to uh, make that rabid looking koala. Or is that an owl? I don't know what that is. Uh, well, poo, poo, poochie poochie. Poochie poochie. Su, sia, beto. Okay, let's see what that means. So that was Petit Petit, uh, Sherbet DIY. So this is uh, celebrate by making your own mini Sherbet. Um, so yeah, you can make an adorable three layer Sherbet treat. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. You can like layer Sherbet and stuff. Uh, not my favourite kind of sweet, I'll be honest. Like powdery, sugary stuff has never like really been, you know, my thing. But whatever. Ooh, we have another full, full size uh, drink. Gotta say, really, really digging the fact that they're going full size of the drinks here because the little cans were nice, but like you'd finish them and you'd be like, wow, that was a good taster. Um, Gab oh, <laughs> I thought for a second that said Gabumon, as in, uh, you know, the, the wolf thing from Digimon. Gabunomi. Um, well, this, oh, hang on. Uh, Zando Cream Soda. Zun Zunda. Zunda Cream Soda. What the? What is he under? That looks like a, ma a matchy. That's what I meant earlier with the Winnie the Pooh um, marshmallow thing. It's a matchy thing with like it's a cream soda. Okay, let's see what this is then. So Zunda is a special paste made from endamame. Now I don't know what endamame is, but um, it's like it's a weird Zunda daifuku, which is that little um, puffy thing. And a speciality from Sendai in Japan. I'll be honest, I do not know where Sendai is. Now, I believe this is the final item. Ooh, and slightly uh, crack, you know, bent. But that's the thing, Piccolo, uh, you know, often went through a lot of uh, fights. He lost his arm and stuff. He oh, Piccolo! Ah, oh, right, okay. So, already, uh, oh, there's two packs, which is nice. I'm going to say these are strawberry cream... Like in those crispy straw things, and it's gonna taste of like I don't know, some kind of oh, <laughs> yet again. I like I, I try and quickly read the uh, kana there, where it literally just says it tastes of peach yogurt. So I was off with my strawberry thing. Wow, okay, let's uh, let's read up on this then. Okay, so this is Piccolo peach yogurt, it's um. Yeah, it comes the unique flavour of peach yoghurt, uh, really, crispy cookie texture. Yeah, um, you know, you've probably had something like this before. Wow, well, that has been quite, yet again, there has been quite the haul of stuff. My camera's just fully going out of focus there. So, as always, I'm going to put them in a very decorative, uh, nice display, and then I will talk about the box at the end. See you in a second. All right, we are back. Uh, so I've arranged everything in a very nice way. And just to point out, so Japan Crate have been going for four years now. Happy four years. Or well, happy years, four. Um, and so, you know, it's just a celebration stuff. Now they have mentioned, and this is actually something I may subscribe to. So the next uh, three months, I think I may actually get this instead of Japan Crate, just because I like to mix it up a bit. Also, I have a ton of Japanese snacks now because I've received like three crates in about a month and a half and I've just finished my July crate. So I'd like to give it a bit of a rest, you know, sort of like, and then maybe in three months time get back. So Gacha crate, 
Um, in case those of you who don't know, Gacha Creator Gacha Fund, which are like, you know those coin machines you like put in, you, you turn the thing and you get like a random ball. Well, they're Japanese ones, but they're like, they're really high quality. And usually you get sort of stuff from um, Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, stuff like that, like famous brands and stuff. So I actually quite like to give this a go because whilst I love Japanese snacks, I love Gacha Fund things even more because they're tiny, but they're very collectible and sort of Moorish. So I'm probably going to be giving this a shot uh, in the future. However, back to the um, crate at hand, this has been a very, very good one. Now, as promised, I'm going to rip open this um, popping candy thing uh, and give it a shot. I'll try giving my opinion whilst my mouth crackles a lot. How unannoying does that sound? This is going to be difficult. Okay, so yeah, that. That's a good. Ooh, wow, that is very, very shiny. Okay. So I'm going to stick this in my mouth and I'll keep on talking. All right, I've got to say, this month has been pretty darn good. Very A lot of uh, Ramune themed things, which is quite nice. Um, so more watermelon stuff, which is always a plus. And yeah. Overall, this has been very nice. It's not quite had as strong a theme as the last two months, which I felt were kind of summer festival things. This has kind of been more of a, you know, a, a random assortment of snacks. But then, that's never a bad thing, honestly. Like, I like having a random assortment because you do kind of get sick of like, oh, this is peach flavour, that's peach flavour, everything is peach flavoured. I don't know how loud this is coming across on camera, but in my head, these crackles are very, very loud. It's been really good. Now I'm going to check out my subscription in May of Auto Renewed already, in which case I'll probably do another three months if it has done. If it hasn't, I will be switching to Gacha Crate. So those of you who like snacks may be a little bit disappointed. I'm sorry. I may come back to this though. And I do have some videos of previous Japan crates and another um, another crate I got for like a year called Oyatsu Box. Um, so, you know, if you're in the mood to watch more of those, then feel free to uh, hop on over to the playlist. I've probably got somewhere at the top right here. And of course, here's a random video that YouTube has chosen just for you. Um, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.